Three, two, one. Let's do it. Peggy 16. We're going to watch this like 10 times. We're going to talk about it. Pure and radiant, he wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. Oh, yeah? There is nothing <laughs> Shut up. We're going to enter his dream, right? All right, I'm gonna watch this silent, and then we'll rewatch it while I while I bullshit and talk over it. <laughs> A whole new land. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are too faithful. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. Oh! Oh, what the fuck is that? Is this Sirash? Is this supposed to be Sirash? Mother, wouldst thou truly look at in one so bereft of life? That's what the dragon is. Throwing, throwing knives. Martial arts combat. You too are keen to know. Bro, they took some of the ideas from the d from the mods, bro. Just what kind of Mikano is doing here? Pretty. That's PvP. Hippos, great. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. In the Come now, touch the withered arm, and travel to the realm of shadow. What? I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Oh my god, what a bunch of wacky looking characters. Holy shit. Mikola. Who the fuck is this guy right here, though? Look at that statue. Wait, what does that say? Hold on. I fucking called it the 21st of June, bros! <laughs> what the fuck? Of course it's gonna be on PS4 as well. It's, the game's already on PS4. I fucking called the exact date. The exact date. Bro. Shouldn't it be free? Fuck no. Why would it be free? Why in the hell would they make the, the DLC to the, one of the most successful video games ever created free like that would be shooting themselves in the foot especially when they've been taking literally two years to make it like that'd be that'd be outrageous that's it that was it that was it okay okay so we're gonna we're gonna watch it again let's go we're gonna watch it again I'm gonna break. I'm gonna Pure, pause it constantly to, love to clean the talk and break it down. So I think we were right about the entrance to the DLC. I think we're in Mikola's dream. I really do. I think we're inside Mikola's dream. So after we beat Moog, we'll be able to interact with Mikola and his egg and be able to go to the to the 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 DLC. I just really hope that that. I don't know. I don't know why. But I kind of hope that that main 
that like main focused enemy that was in the title or on the main like screenshot page they're making the statue of i hope that's not mikola i honestly hope that's not mikola because it's nothing like i would have expected him and there's never been anything about him being really re- related to or tied to snakes in some way so oh uh, yeah, i don't know There is nothing more terrifying. Jacob with the con- game controller. Let's go. Okay, so this is obviously not the capital city or main main area, cities or in any way. This is like a completely new land. And you know what this reminds me of immediately is like the yellow brick road from... Um, even though it's not yellow, it's not bricks, but this like golden path that leads up to wherever the city this is reminds me of the golden brick, uh, the golden brick road or the yellow brick road. So this is the field where we saw originally when the, uh, the reveal, uh, teaser screenshot or whatever, where you've seen Mikola sitting on torrent or who we believe to be Mikola sitting on Torrent in that field th- with all of the ghostly graves um, graves just chilling. So um, this might be like the main field, basically. There You can see over there, just a little bit to the right of the center of the screen, you can see there is a map fragment statue. There's a monolith there. We'll, we'll pick up a map fragment. There's some sort of gate archway over to the left, but I don't think that's going to make... Uh, uh, much of a difference some sort of messed up city that kind of looks like something you'd see in Kalid it looks like Celia I wonder if this is actually Kalid before it got fucked up maybe because like what if Mikola doesn't know about his sister Scarlet Eonia and the destruction of Kalid through the fight of Millennia and Radon like who knows maybe i don't know how kaled used to be like i have i've always had the assumption that kaled is fucked up with all of the rot because of millennia and radon's fight so watch this part of actually part of it be actually um Kaled. but like in Mim- in mikla's dream he remembers kaled before it got fucked up who knows Ooh, I want to go back just a little bit. Right there. So it almost looks like a platform world. So you have this, you have the main field down below. There's like some sort of tower down there. And then you have the bridge that goes over and it layers up like this layout. This reminds me of Hyrule Castle in Breath of the Wild. Oop. Like that, that little... Um, not the big tower behind, uh, you guys can't see my, um, <laughs> can't see my cursor, uh, not the big building and towers right next to the fucked up twisted Erd tree, but the little tinier, the smaller castle kind of down on the lower plateau in the center there, that, that area, like, just reminds me of, uh, Hyrule Castle. Thank God, no new place. rod looking area highlighted. Not yet. Blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. Oh, hold on. Okay, a little bit, a little bit here. So, at first glance, I thought this was maybe underground, but I don't think it is because you can see the urge tree there and that same tower of uh, buildings right next to it as well. Seems like you might be casting some sort of spell here. I'm not sure. Or maybe that's just a background drop. This sword caught my eye immediately. Immediately. I was like, hmm, I like the look at that. I might try to, to use that weapon at some point. In that forsaken place. This dude reminds me of Havel. Like immediately I, I thought of Havel when I saw this. This is, I think this is gonna be a boss room for when we fight a sleep boss. I think this is actually a player character being put to sleep from in the middle of the boss fight. Blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. No idea who this bitch is. 
You said no poison swamp highlighted, but this looks like a poison swamp to me. Oh, I want to get a better look at that. Lot of your fellows. They are true. Yeah, so there's some. I think he's he's walking up to a castle or some sort of building right now, and then there's like all of these swamp like, like this is like straight up right out of Florida Bayou, man. Yeah, this is definitely a swamp for sure. I did get the date right. I was blown away by. That. I was like, how the fuck did I guess that? Just a just a speculative idea i was like i don't think we're gonna have to wait till july i think june's probably made a good time for it end of june is, if i had to pick one i just looked at the date i looked at the calendar and i was like i feel like maybe the 21st because it's a friday but it could also be the 25th or the 27th because they also like to do tuesday and thursday releases so who was that who the fuck could that be? Do you think that's... You know, it reminds me of Margit. Of all people, that reminds me of Margit. A guy sitting there in that chair. In the photo. I don't know who the finger maiden would be. I don't think that would be Merica or Millennia or, or Melina or any of that. But this guy heavily looks like M Morgot or Margit. But, I mean, obviously without his horns. So, but maybe because this is supposedly Mikola's dream, maybe he remembers everybody a little differently in his dreams. Or when he dreams, he just sees them as their, like, perfect forms without the, the curse. Watch it be Morgoth without the curse. I don't know what this is. It's probably some sort of cave. Just a cave of some sort. Hero's grave. I think that's a hero's grave. There seems to be some sort of spinning device at the bottom of that pillar, too. So I wonder if that's sucking up the lava and spitting it out up top, maybe? Or that was, like, a bridge that you activated. God dang, I, I don't have the quickest reactions on this stuff. Wow, there's a lot to unpack here. Okay, so... The areas of this city that are being touched by the light look pristine and and and, and uh, gr very grander, you know. But then the piece, the part of it in the back in the shadow, looks like it's decaying and disintegrating, and that gravity is, doesn't exist. It's all just like there's pieces of the chunks of debris and building just kind of floating and shadowy in the background. Shadow of the Erd tree. <laughs> Very, very unique looking and different, for sure. The thing. This fucking nightmare fuel. Definitely a field boss. Some sort of, uh... Wicker Man type inspire, inspiration here? I'm not sure. Early M Margaret? Maybe. So I don't think it's supposed to be early Margaret because I mean it looked like an old man, but I think it's the uh, I think in, in the idea would be that it's in Mikola's dream, everyone's in their perfect forms, bro. It looks fucking good. And then there's this d Bloodborne esque nightmare fuel. Like what the? F bro, look, he's got. Four eyes along the side of its head. It's probably got four more on the other side. Super gross looking. Very Bloodborne like. Uh, I think it's going to be a sequel to the end game. Um, it's going to. We're most likely going to be entering Mikola's dream. It's hard for me to talk about it without spoiling it for you, Drake, because I know you're on your first playthrough right now. <laughs> but I believe. Uh, I believe we're going to be entering Mikola's dream after we fight Moog. You can find Mikola in his cocoon, and I think we're going to be entering a dream state. We're actually going to be going into, like, a dream version of the world where Mikola's dream has completely changed the idea or changed the landmass because, you know, it's a dream. Yeah, it's obviously a fire giant. Yeah, true.
So, it at first I thought this might be Sirosh, but it's very dog-like compared to Sirosh. It doesn't look like a lion. Dude, what a spectacle. This thing's gonna be hard. You can already tell it's gonna be a hard fight. Bro, look at bro fucking using a shitty ass leather wooden shield to block that attack. <laughs> Did you know that's repairing? This guy. I really hope this is not Mikolash, but it might be. I don't think it's Mikolash. But it could be. It'd be very strange for it to be Mikolash. It's got a very... So the armor it's wearing, it reminds me of the dragon set that you get in Faramazula. The the one that Eleonora um, uses. Very similar. It's got the wing off the left side of his build, uh, left side of his um, body, and then uh, the similar headdress as well. But Mikola has no tie to the dragons in that sense. He's very different, and this is nothing like what we would have expected or seen from him before. This could be a Moog. Uh, this could be like a Moog inspired Mikola, maybe, and then like we'll have to find. I don't know. I'm I'm, spe I'm speculating like crazy. That is a big fire the attack, red. though. She. Oh wait, it's got red hair. It's got red hair. It's an Empyrean. So maybe it is Mikola. But Mikola had golden hair. The Empyreans have. Oh, this could be a secret child of Radagon and Renala. Because all of their children had red hair. I don't think this is Mikola. The serpent. Everything serpent wise. Yeah, maybe this is like. Ooh, wait a minute. What if this is Rykard's son? What if it's Rykard's son or something? Or a character we didn't see in the game because he's been dead for a long time or something? But Mikola was scared of this fucker or something. I mean, it's Mikola's dream. I believe we're going into Mikola's dream. Radagon could very well be alive. But I don't think this is Radagon. I think this is... I mean, I don't want to think it's Mikola because we know he's got blonde hair. This guy's got red hair. Um, the serpent... The fact that he's got red hair makes me think he's somehow rela related to Ronala and Radagon. Maybe a, a sibling of Ronnie and Rikard and Radon that we haven't seen yet. But the um, the serpent, the serpent imagery and the uh, the snakes with him make me think that this might be a son of Rikard, someone that that Mikola feared. Definitely got some new weapons here. That that's a a, a, a dual wielding twin blade set right there. We got what looks to be dual wielding dagger set where the special is to throw the daggers some sort of purple magic this martial arts bro they took the idea from the mods and gave us actual martial arts yes i am doing a martial arts build Oh, that fucking outfit. I was so distracted with everything else, I didn't even check out his outfit. I presume you. I like that armor. Tower Knight for sure. Like, wow, that is a cool looking armor set. I like that a lot. That's cool looking. <laughs> Rapid fire. Oh, hey, that's a bestial incantation. This is an incantation. I thought this was a character last time, but no, if you look closely, it's actually a player character casting a, a, an incantation of some sort, kind of like the dragon incantations. It's coming out of the dude's... Uh, you can see in his left hand, he's got a golden seal, and he's casting, and then it's a, that's why the massive head looks like it's coming out of the smaller body. It's because this is an incantation. 
Mikkel at the end? Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna fight Mikkel, but I hope he's not the final boss, to be honest. What kind of thing do is doing here? The first time I saw this, I thought this was a PvP encounter. But I think that's actually an invader or an NPC fight. The uh, animation on the lady with the red, or sorry, the model of the animation, or sorry, the model of the lady with the red dress has uh, a unique character model that I don't think you can make as a as a player. Ooh, spear sword, hippopotamus. Bro's got a boomerang. Yeah, this shit though is that like gold mask? This reminds me, it looks kind of like Gold Mask to me, but all fucked up. Lost his mask. Yeah, I was right. My prediction was when I was 100% right on my prediction, June 21st. Of the grace of gold death. I fucking called it. Of less, less Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Oh, I love that last shot. I will not be They're both in the air. That's that's fucking wicked, bro. They really like that armor set. You notice that they really like the 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 wolf armor set or whatever. My son will be one that weekend. Nice. May we meet again. Oh boys, this is gonna be crazy. There, that's Mikola. For sure, without a doubt, that's Mikola. But who the fuck is that guy? Whoever it is, he's sitting on one of the the thrones. He's definitely a nasty motherfucker. What if Moog and Rykard and this guy, we're actually working together to kidnap Mikola for this all to happen, and this is like, right? I, I still, I think I'm, I'm really highly betting on this guy being related to to Rikard in some way because of the snakes and the red hair. I, I think he's gonna be related to Rikard. Definitely has something to do with Rikard because his fire stuff looks like Rikard's, but it also looks like Blood Flame. It looks like blood flame at the same time, so I think he's I think he's also in ties with Moog for sure. Very very cool. I kind of like how it looks like a mixture of like all the areas we've been to so far. Like there's definitely some Limgrave, Lorania, and Altus inspirations in the world that we've seen, and uh, this shit's gonna be crazy, man. Uh, I don't know about you, but one more time, let's go. <laughs> Peggy 16. I'm gonna watch this like a million times. Pure and radiant. Yeah, it's, we're we're definitely the getting to clean into the, the DLC through that. The egg. Yeah, I'll pause at the pre-order bonus stuff this time. I bet you anything, you can go on and buy it right now. I bet I, I wouldn't be surprised if pre-orders are live on PlayStation. Put this playback speed to super slow. Oh, see that? Okay, so now I'm not so sure that is a spell being cast. I, it, look how it's kind of actually, it's further off in front of him, and it's being stabbed into the ground right there. Um, by those little, there's like the the graves you can see right in front of him. Looks like that's coming out of the ground. Whatever it is. In that forsaken place. Well, I didn't notice this before, but this is giant drill like. Um, statue right behind him. I get Sigward of Katarina vibes or Havel vibes from this character. What about you guys? I think it's going to be $40. 
50 for art dollar art bundle yeah i i assumed it was gonna be 40 dollars that man i'm just fucking calling everything left and right with this shit blood must spill blood of your fellows now i don't know who this could be not even a, not even a little bit blood must spill this 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 is very bloodborne -y, though everything about this scene is very bloodborne -y. maybe this is um saint trina Maybe this is like, well, Mikola is supposed to be St. Trina, so I don't know what they're trying to play here. But the purple um, crystals and the somberness to this definitely gives me like sleep boss vibes, like a boss that we that uses sleep. But uh, it could also be something else. It could be gravity related because the gravity magic is purple, but it's more of a dark purple. This is like a light purple, like a lavender purple and that's more of a sleep so a lot of your fellows we can't see its hair at all so it's it's hard to tell if this is Mikola or this is just some random character they are truly faithful. yeah i'm very i'm definitely every time i see this it's like that looks like margit without like his horns This looks like we're really, really close to the base of the tree. I love that. That is so intense. Mother. The. So yeah, who would they be talking? Wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so bereft of life? I really hope it's not Mikola. I don't know why I hope it's not, but I just hope it's not Mikola. I presume you too are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. Okay, this is the scene I wanted to see. I want to. I want to see more of this. Just what kind Mikola is doing. So. I don't know if this is might be underground. I don't think it is. This could be underground, but I don't I really don't think it is. I think this is just maybe another section of the map that we haven't seen yet or maybe this is just a random this can hap happen at night, but it's very pretty. Whatever this is. King Mikola is doing here. Yeah, so it's obviously not Mikola. Okay, I didn't catch that before. He's talking about Mikola. Um, he's not talking about himself, so he's definitely not Mikola. Good. I'm glad. That fucking really... Uh, I don't know why. I just was like, that is not Mikola. There's no way that's Mikola. It's just like everything we know about Mikola that just doesn't seem like him. Wait, was that dude riding one of the hippos? Just yeah, he is. This dude's riding one of the crazy hippo creatures. He's got like a spear sword, like a javelin spear. <laughs> the fuck is that thing even supposed to be? Bro has the placenta from fucking uh, uh, the Koss. The, uh, the Orphan of Koss. He throws the placenta at us. It's, it's, it's fat Orphan of Koss, guys. He survived. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. In the embrace of restless flame. Come now. Touch the withered arm. Oh and my travel God. to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind May we meet again. 
<laughs> oh man, I could probably watch this all day. All right, guys. Well, I think that's where I am going to call this. Uh, I, I'll pause on the uh, on the pre-order stuff real fast. June twenty-first. I can't believe I called the fucking date literally perfectly to get in-game bonus gesture ring of Mikola. Let's go. Forty dollars, June twenty-first. Dude, look at that. Oh, statue of Mesmer the Impaler. So this guy's do this guy's name is Mesmer the Impaler. Impaler. Impaler? Impeller. Oh man, I want this collector's edition, but it's two hundred I bet you anything it's like two hundred and fifty bucks. Guaranteed. It comes with uh, all of this shit. It's gotta be two hundred and fifty bucks. Statue of Mesmer the Impaler. So yeah, here yeah, you can see his name's off to the side, sorry. Why so long? Bro, that's so fucking short in the grand scheme of things. We do not have a long a long wait. Yeah. Alright guys. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. What a crazy fucking reveal. Like I I've just I'm gonna go and watch this like five more times. I'm gonna probably make some content out of this uh out of this uh video that we've there made or uh, this just stream. So <laughs> keep an eye out. If you guys wanna see more of this, uh you guys can watch the trailers on YouTube and all that jazz, so um I'll see you guys later. I'll be back. I'll be live Doodle tonight at my cheeks. regular time. And uh, yeah, 